kind of enjoyable to be up here, first of all. Um, to be with these young men is even better. Uh, I thought to a T, the game plan, we played out exactly how we wanted it to. Sometimes that happens, sometimes it doesn't. You need them to miss some shots, and, and they did. But I thought our scrappiness and, and getting loose balls in the second half uh, had a big part in the win tonight. Um, a very good basketball team that we played, and they're a lot quicker than we are. But but uh, our guys got big hearts, and these two guys next to me, and you know, I, I know he was a second teamer, but he's a first teamer in our in our mind. Um, he's a pretty good basketball player, so um, we're just excited to, to represent the community of Defiance, and we're excited to be in the championship game. Well, as far as the coaching staff's mind, you know, we weren't in a panic because we turned the ball over quite a bit. And that's what Dayton Dunbar can do to you. Um, obviously, with A.J. Harris out there, he can, he can pick your pocket at any time. But uh, I thought once we got the feel for things after that first quarter, we took much better care of the basketball. So it wasn't a panic, really. Um, I thought defensively we had the right idea. And, and our guys have been in that situation before. Um, we're a very good rebounding team. We're not the strongest, most physical team. But we got great hands and got some length. So. Um, that wasn't a panic if, as long as they missed some shots, and, and luckily for us, they, they did miss some shots. It means a lot. It means a lot because they do have a great program, and, and they've been here before, and the tradition uh, that Dayton Dunbar has, I guess we're trying to work to that particular point, and with, with young men like that, hopefully we can, we can get there. Um, it means a great deal to our community uh, to win down here in Columbus, and uh, most importantly, it means a great deal to these young men because they've worked extremely hard. Um, it's been as, as intelligent a group as I've had the fortune to coach. Um, and you add a work ethic that's unbelievable, and, and that makes you a pretty good basketball team. I mean, we just had to not turn the ball over like we did in the first half. I mean, once we got past uh, half court, we just, they like to run the trap, and we, we just reversed the ball and got open shots. And attacking was a big focus, trying to get some of their big guys in foul trouble and trying to get the ball to Katuan in the post where he does best. I mean, we, we knew we could play with them, especially because we scrimmaged them um, at the beginning of the season. We knew we could play with them. With the way we play defense, we just had to um, rebound with them, and we couldn't turn the ball over. And so once we did that, I knew we had a chance. Well, rebounding was a key, first of all. Um, that, was, that was key number one. Um, we knew we'd have, have to rebound. Claiborne, uh, I was unbelievably impressed watching him in fil in, on film of how he got to the glass. Um, you know, Landers as well, and they had pretty good hands. So. Rebounding was our number one key, um, that being answered. Um, you know, I, I think I answered that a little bit uh, earlier in the week about our community is known as a baseball program. There's no question about it. We've had some great baseball players, and right here's one of them. He's going to Louisville uh, to pitch, but he's a fair basketball player, too, as you guys saw. Um, but we tried to embrace that. You know, we, uh, Coach Beauty's won a football state championship, and we tried to embrace that and say, hey, fellas, let's, let's get to where they are. And, and these guys took it to heart, and, um, you know, we're close. Uh, we got one more step. Came out and guarded me I, and went by them, and when they put Baker on me, I just go down in the post and post up and look over the defense more than I could with Landers. So it was helpful. It was hard matching up to them. Uh, obviously, they were really quick and big, and when uh, they went uh, small, it was it was hard because A.J. just kept attacking us, and lucky enough, we, when they – Missed shots, we rebounded, and the block shot was uh, big, but we got to come, uh, come ready to play tomorrow. These guys have done that on the tournament run. You know, I've been amazed with when, when we've, we've made a bad play or had a turnover, uh, they find a way to make a play. They've got great mental toughness, and uh, um, we did that again today, I thought. Like, like you said earlier, we, we got behind early. Um, one thing that we do very well is take care of the basketball, and, and if you take care of the basketball, um, you know, we've got some things that can isolate. You know, people ask me if we would go inside against Dunbar. You know, we've gone inside against everybody with, with Katwan and Shea's gotten better inside, and then at his three-point. And then don't forget Cam. He, he finds a way to make a play. And uh, I, I thought Mikey Menendez for a sophomore was, was really huge today because A.J. Harris is as good a defender as there is in, that we've played against. And uh, I thought Michael Menendez was great for a sophomore. Well, that we're only down four to Dayton Dunbar and going into the fourth quarter. And, uh, you give us that chance, and, and I'll take these guys because, as I said earlier, they've made plays and they found a way to make plays. And uh, um, just a very intelligent group. They know how to get the ball to Katwan. Uh, Cam does, Shea does, 
and then we can spread you out a little bit, and uh, when, when we can we, we can get some open threes, we can knock them in. We, we've not been a good a team that's been good at getting to the free throw line. Te- teams have shot a lot more free throws against us, so we haven't been great now. In the tournament run, we've been a lot better. Um, so, so yes and no, uh, because we throw it into the post quite a bit, um, but Dunbar's athletic enough to be quick enough and strong enough to, to defend us in there too. It was a uh, huge... Uh... Lima Senior was quick and they're big, just like Dunbar. And we we know we we got beat bad, but it it helped us with their quickness and strength. So it was it was really helpful. What's what to expect from their pressure? Because Dunbar and Lima Senior played early in the season. Dunbar ended up winning not by a lot, but by a little. And that just helped with their pressure because they got up and got after us just like Dunbar did, and they never let off the pressure. And I think they got us ready for this. And, and Mikey got us off to a big start in the regional final game uh, against Holy Name. He knocked in two threes. He, he can shoot it if, if he has time. Now, as, as you guys saw, he's not the tallest guy in the world. But uh, he, he finds it tough to get shots off sometimes, but he handles it extremely well. His ball skills are great, and, and the knowledge of the game is, is really, really good. But uh, when he gets open shots, he can knock them in. There's no question about that. Um, Cam got the ball on the corner, and... He took a shot, and then I was like, the only thing I had to do was get a rebound. And when I did that, um, I looked up and I said I was behind the basket, so I had to make something happen because the time was uh, running down. So, lucky enough, I got fouled, and then when I got fouled, I was like, I'm a pretty good uh, free throw shooter, so I can I can hit this. So, lucky enough, they both went in. We're gonna tell our guys enjoy this a little bit, and we coaches will go back to work. Uh, they deserve to enjoy it, and you know I. I think sometimes we don't tell our players to do that enough, and, and these guys have been great at focusing, and, and we'll get back focused later tonight and maybe tomorrow morning. But, um, you know, it's just an honor to represent Defiance and, and the community of Defiance in the state championship game. Uh, it means a lot to our kids, and uh, growing up in Defiance and being a Defiance alum, it means a lot to me, and, and uh, I know we'll be excited to play come tomorrow afternoon.